Welcome back paint lovers. Today we got a special video for you that Clarkman is like super excited about making. And a part of it involves this RC truck right here. This is our Traxxas Stampede, which we love so much. It's been such a fantastic vehicle. I love crashing it. I love breaking it and I love fixing it all in that order. As you can see here on the body, it has taken a lot of abuse like there. there. And especially back here, it's very hard to actually keep this on anymore because of the holes gotten pushed out and busted out. His back is broken as well. I tried fixing it with Sugru and it worked for a period of time, but I decided that maybe it'd be fun for us to switch things up and try a new body. That's why for today's experiment, I bought this. This is a Traxxas 3617A. This is a stampede truck body, but as you can see, it's clear which takes us to our adventure for today, and that is going to be painting this truck body. This is Rust-Oleum Brilliant Metal Finish. I don't know what the color's name is, but it's this beautiful blue. Let me take it in the sun and I'll show you what it looks like. It has this lovely metallic finish on it, and I think it's gonna look really good on the truck. This isn't all that we're painting today. Clarkman was also inspired, and he wants to do some painting as well. On my janky Hot Wheels. So he's got some off-brand Hot Wheels cars out here and some paints and he's gonna be painting uh, some stuff as well. Which he's desperate this to do. This is my first car. All right, let's see some painting action, Clark Man. We'll show him the stuff they actually wanna see and then okay. we'll we'll get over to this stuff. Let's, it's a little windy today, so make, I apologize for the audio. the red. Okay. From blue to red. You might have to hold on to it a little bit because he's gonna move around. Yeah, because cars have wheels and cars roll. That's right. I'll hold on to his drag race back. Does it look painted enough? Yeah, that's looking really good, that man. That's nice. Yeah, that's pretty even coat there you got. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I got sprayed. <laughs> Paint it green. 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 <laughs> green, green, green. <laughs> you like the paint? Mm-hmm. Painting is fun. That looks really cool, actually. Mm-hmm. All right, the green's gone. Boom, 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 yeah, dry that off real good. That'll keep your paint a little bit thicker. See how that's kind of yeah. watered down a bit? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Is it okay though? Yeah. It still looks cool nonetheless, but this so. last car is gonna be blue. Oh my gosh. Cause see, blue paint. Okay. What was blue becomes red, and what was red becomes blue, right? Oh. Oh, paint that engine. <laughs> Run it, <laughs> blue. Like the Bob Ross of painting Hot Wheels cars. Is that one done? Yeah. That, oh, that, okay. That, that's, I only brought three cars. Wow. With the Hot Wheels painted, we'll now move on to the next thing. That's painted. Look at that thing, That's dude. That's so cool. Isn't it? Let's yeah. see if it's pretty similar. Can you tell? It looks the same. I think so. One's clear, one's not. This is what the inside of that one looks like. Are you curious? We could clear it and the inside. You could. It would actually be kind of neat. I considered that, actually. Here's all the stickers that go with this. Uh, let's see what it looks like if we do a clear Clark, man. It is kind of cool being able to see through it, right? Yeah, yeah. You can see all of the stuff and your battery and whatnot inside there. Yeah, yeah. But I really want to paint. As much as you want to paint, I want to paint too. <laughs> so I think we're going to. It sounds to. like Dad's have a little bit of fun too. Exactly. Dads need to have fun. Yeah, that's what we need. It's my shield. Don't you look at the Huerro. Skeleton. Yeah, this looks good to me. I think. I wouldn't say I'm the most skilled spray painter out there. Definitely not a graffiti artist by any means. But you know, gotta learn somehow and this is a great thing to experiment on. You wanna shake it? Shake it like that. Oh, you're the man. You just got a new job, Clark, man. <laughs> Hit yourself in the face. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> KO'd. Watch out, you're stepping in your paint. That was close. I was almost stepping in my paint. Almost. This is how much fun a six-year-old can have with spray paint. There you go. Thank you. <gasps> that was a good job. Oh, there's a spider right there. We won't spray paint the spider. Oh, he just climbed off. Went out in the spout again. <laughs> okay, here we go. First coat, real light coat. Let's do a little test. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I hope the ball gets on there and gets spray painted. This is not a tutorial by any means. Oh my god. Uh -huh. It's moving everywhere. You got the car, you're getting cardboard. It's getting you too. 
trying to get the inside down here. Spring missed it at me. It's Why? looking really cool though. Why is it spring missed at me? Because that's what spray paint is. I don't recommend doing this on a windy day, by the way. I can't get down in that crack there. We will count this as our first coat. I love the way that looks, dude. Check that out. It's gonna look amazing. Please don't blow away. How's your painting operation, sir? It's still drying. We should put them in the sun. Will they blow away? No, they'll be fine. Look at those sweet cars, dude. How's mine looking? <laughs> See, my truck's blowing away here. What do you think of that color? That's beautiful. I love it. You're making it like mom's truck. Yeah. I gotta get down inside here. Oh, I read last night too that you're not supposed to use this type of paint for this. This is just like regular spray paint. There's actually like hobby paint. So. This could all just come flaking off when I crash this. But you know, it's the, it's the journey. It's shining in the sun, literally. Oh my God, when I get the decals on this and stuff. Look at these cars. How are they looking? There's none. Oh, that sun dried them up, I think. This one's probably the best one of all, to be honest. I like it. That blue's getting decimated with the water. Man, your paint jobs are just so good looking, dude. Mm -hmm. I see some spots that I really need to work on in the next coat, that whole back window. What I've realized in this experiment is that I'm the worst spray painter in the world. Sad conclusion that I've come to. I think it's time though just to just start going in on this thing though. I don't see any streaks or any runs. gonna have to hit that a little bit in the back. Just when you think you're done with spray painting, you're not done. It's a weird spot right there, I guess. Okay, I'm actually done. I just can't get over how awesome that looks in the sun. Even on camera, it shows really well, and I don't think you can see it as well as I can in real life. It's, it's popping. Can I say popping? It's popping. Next thing's next. I'm gonna peel the plastic coating off the outside of this, which I found a little spot where it kind of started there. So if you couldn't tell, which I think you probably could, all of the paint is on the inside. So it kind of has like almost like a clear, clear coat on the outside. So when it gets scraped up, the paint's not going to come off. It's going to look, uh, it's going to look like this where it's just scratched because that's just the clear that's getting scratched out there. Oh, there we go. Look at that fancy pantsness there. That's so good looking. Now I gotta make it look even better. I'm gonna put all these stickers on or decals matching kind of what's on this truck, using that as a guide. As I'm looking at these, I've been trying to figure out this situation right here, why they put that hole there instead of there where it should be. I think that this might be an error. This might be a messed up one because I'm gonna be putting a sticker over that windshield so you're not gonna see that hole. I'm gonna have to drill another one right there. I don't know how that's gonna react to the plastic, but I'm gonna have to do something because I like that antenna to come out of there. Try to find a drill bit that matches that hole. I think this one, I think that's the one. This feels like a really bad idea, but here we go. Not too bad. Oh yeah, we're good to go, baby. Not as clean as I'd ideally like it to be, but what can you do? Since that didn't go terribly wrong, I feel confident enough to do the decals or stickers or whatever we want to call these. Of course, I start with the most important one, which is the windshield. Not too bad. 
I could have done worse. Passenger side window. I'm doing this at like an awkward angle just so you guys can get the shot. I do it for you. Okay, my sticker application isn't great, but I do have a window. What do you think, Clark, man? Whoa. We even got a paint job. Oh, yeah. well, look at this side. This How is... about my paints? Your paints look amazing. Mm -hmm. I was admiring them while I was putting my stickers on. I think they look great. I'm happy with my coats. Good. I'm glad you like my coats. Yeah, I think it's cool. Windows are done. Looking good. Next, we need some headlights on this thing. We've got them here, and we've got a little bumper detail with some fog lights as well, just like you see on the front of this. Oh, no, stop. Oh, no, the wind. Stop, wind. There you go. Put that down. That's how you beat the system, Clark, man. Yeah, you can dump it in the grass if you want to. Hey, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Not on that, bro. <laughs> what in the world? You're not using it. Oh. Mm, sick dog. Sick dog. <laughs> Time for some fog lights. Come off there, you demon. There we go. Hey, I'm pretty happy with that too. Starting to get better at this. I almost forgot that this had tail lights because they are almost uh, worn off of the back of this here. But we do. We do have tail lights. Hey, that looks pretty darn good right there. I think I decided I'm gonna leave the stampede name off the side, but I am gonna put that track. Praxis logo down below there. At least that's my plan for now. Let's see how it looks with that on there. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. That looks really great. I wish I had one for the back window. I think that would look really good. That's where it being black looks nice. But uh, we don't have that, so we'll rock it the way it is and we'll put this together and give it a test run. We gotta put that antenna down through there. Through my new hole that I drilled. Okay. The fit? Uh -huh. Dude. I almost forgot the battery, Clark. Man. Good thing I got one here. This is going to be important if we're going to run this, right? We need a battery. Now we're good. Turn it on. Good. It's amazing to be able to put the pins in without the body being all crumpled up and messed up around it. Time for the test run. Glorious look at this thing as Clark Man sends him out. That was close. You almost messed up my paint job, bro. Yeah. It looks good though. I, I like it. I feel like it needs the stampede stickers on the side. I feel like it's missing something. We'll spice up life a little bit. Yeah, I think that was a good choice there. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. Looks more complete now. We gotta represent the Stampede Nation, Clarky. I love this truck though. You guys are thinking about getting one of these. It's the cheapest. Orifice truck ever. No, it's the cheapest truck that Traxxas makes. So if you're looking to get into this hobby for like 160 bucks, this thing comes with everything you need. And they're not even paying me to say that, but they should be. Because we love their products. And maybe one of these days, They'll find us out here and they'll be like, man, Greg and Clark, they're loving their, their Traxxas stuff. Let's send these guys some cool stuff to play with. And I'll be like, like an airplane, like an airplane or a boat or, or anything or right? submarine. They'd send me a battery. I'd be excited. Let's take it back out with the new stickers and see how fast it is with that extra horsepower. My paint job. You're a madman. This is why we can't have nice things guys. Oh, you can't even tell. Yeah, it looks mint. Can I drive? Yeah. Oh, that'll get the paint. I can't believe how fast this thing is. You seen those wheelies, Clark? I'll do one closer. That's all you, buddy. Enjoy the new painted truck. He drives down the road, it gets crushed. The only downside I see to all this is that every one of our vehicles is now blue almost. Except for your Arma. <laughs> every other car we have is blue. I'm just, I like blue. That's red too. Backwards Donut! 
the new secret way it comes to you, it goes goes around in loopy loo. Love it. We're gonna keep playing with this, but before we send you guys out, we're gonna give you one last look at Clark Man holding this thing. Looking awesome. You look great with the blue and the blue. I'm blue, very blue. happy with look that. Look at blue, blue, blue goo. Look awesome. at blue goo. All right, there it is. Painted my first RC truck today. Pretty darn proud of myself. Ah! <laughs> now we need a new body. We'll see you guys in part two of this video where I take that body off and put a brand new one on that's not broken. <laughs>